Are you considering transferring property to a child and wondering what the property tax consequences may be? Well, that is our topic today, so stay right here. Now, transferring property from parent to child, I've discovered, has mostly come as an inheritance from someone who is deceased. And oftentimes in the overwhelm and overload of duties regarding finances, property preparation for selling, sifting and sorting through belongings, and grieving the loss of a loved one, the thought of any benefits is totally overlooked. The exclusion of increase of property tax on the property due to a reassessment is covered in Prop 58, which states children can be sons, daughters, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, stepchildren, and adopted children. And it's not required that the parent or child use the property as a primary residence for this to be enacted. Now, additionally, the transfer can be from child to parent, grandchild to grandparent, or grandparent to grandchild. The key component is the filling in of the property exclusion within three years after the transfer of property or prior to the transfer of the real property to a third party, someone not related as defined, whichever is earlier. However, if a claim is not made within this filing period, a claim is considered timely if it is filled within any time prior to within six months after the mailing date of a notice of supplemental assessment or notice of proposed escape assessment, whichever is later. The first year of relief is in the year it is filed. There is no refund for previous years. I know that's a big drink from a fire hose. So give a thumbs up if you found this helpful and comment below or contact me directly if you need specifics for your situation. See you next time.